In order to make it deep into the playoffs, you have to have three things. You have to be well coached. You have to have good players. And you also have to have some injury luck. And let's not forget the Lions are healthy at the right time. You look top to bottom. Your quarterback has to be healthy. Jared Goff, ready to go. Offensive line is healthy. That's probably the second most important thing. Defense is generally healthy. All the key players defensively. And all the skill players for the Lions are doing well as well. So, The Lions are healthy, well-coached, good players. So they are making a run at the right time with all the things lining up perfectly. If you're new to this channel, we make videos about the Detroit Lions. And excuse the background. The background's getting fixed up. It'll be all set to go here in a little bit. Uh, We had some fun with it yesterday. If you could have your ideal man cave, what jerseys would you have framed and hanging up in that man cave? You guys gave some great answers last time. Let me know in the comments uh, who you would have hanging up. Okay, because we talked about it. Injuries has been just something that we've taken for granted, really, as Lions. We've dealt with injuries throughout the season. It's a long season, but you look at it, injuries are in a really good place. You look at who's questionable. Sam Laporta continues to be questionable. He was able to power his way through last game. I think that's perfectly said. But he's been limited in practice this week. And so I think we've kind of forgotten about that uh, just because we were so anxious to see if he would play last week. Well, he did play, but he's still not like great, right? It's not like, okay, he's good. He's all set. It's something we have to make sure that we keep an eye on. Another one, James Houston. From what we're hearing, James Houston's not going to play, or if he does, he won't be much of a factor. Unfortunately, this season looks like a lost season for him as he deals with a broken bone, and then they had to put a plate in it. So James Houston, unfortunately, his ankle, just not hearing great things out of it. So if he even does play, you don't see him playing a ton. Now, Khalif Raymond has been ruled out of this game, and and that's okay. We were able to manage. We're going to have Donovan, Donovan Peoples-Jones back at punt returner, although he made me nervous last week. Any punt returner, I realize, makes me nervous. That is a scary position to be in. You just catch the ball. I don't need you to return the kick for any yardage. Just get us the ball. Every possession matters here in the playoffs. It's live or die, living and or living and dying. Right? You just every play is living and dying. I'm like, dude. So he made me a little nervous last week because he caught a ball that he probably should have just far fair caught or let go. Or it's like, dude, what are you doing? So we're fine though. We're fine. We're fine. Donovan Peoples Jones will take over on punt returner duties and will also get his offensive snaps as well. But Raymond was really used more to do things that Donovan Peoples Jones probably won't do. Um, some reverses and stuff. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, but we're good there. And and that was a great behind the scenes trade for Donovan Peoples Jones ends up working out. Um, we would have been short receiver just straight up unless we went to the rookie Antoine green out of North Carolina. But I like Donovan Peoples Jones better situation not listed with a des- designation so this is mean they were full go ready awesome frank rag now he always gets his rest he's got a toe back and a knee <laughs> jeez brock Wright was out with a hip for many weeks there he's back no problems all good alex anzalone he, he was banged up with a with a shoulder had a brace on it at this point in the season he's going to go until he literally can't and then brian branch huge and he is ready to go. Kirby Joseph, it's great, obviously, but we we actually have an extra safety now with CJ Gardner Johnson back. I put it in a video yesterday. CJ Gardner Johnson is is nice to have back, but he's rusty and he's not as good as he thinks he is. Um, he's tricked me many times. He just straight up tricks me because the way he says, what he says, the way he talks, the way he interviews, you're like, dude, list guy. He's he's all right. I mean, he's he's, he's good. He's good. I'm, I'm glad we have him, but. He is not this all pro safety thing. So this is great news. I mean, this is just as good of news as you could ask for when it comes to injuries this late in the season. It's crazy. And so you look at the Tampa Bay Bucks. They've got some guys questionable. And again, this isn't counting their IR guys that they lost for the season. So it's hard to really say who I don't know who they've lost, you know, like any any major players, but you can see just on their overall questionable, they're fine too. So and that's 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 the thing. And that's what you see this late in the into the season. You, you look at the Browns. The Browns are just not gonna make it 
too far and they've lost their entire team to injuries. <laughs> so they're just not gonna make it. You look at the Lions though, and the and the Buccaneers, they're both in good shape. Now you look at this game. I said it yesterday. I just don't I don't trust Baker Mayfield at all. And it's really crazy. And you know, you really look at Jared Goff. Jared Goff has, and I was thinking about this, kind of the opposite thing of Justin Fields, and I'll explain it. Justin Fields is not a good NFL quarterback, but he has a game here, game there, play here, play there. That's just amazing. And so you're like, this guy, he's got something. He he could be something. It's like, no, you look at the totality of the season and the games. He's not a good NFL quarterback. We can all see that. But he has those two or three flash plays a game or a game that's just amazing. And you like want to see more of it. Jared Goff's on the flip side. He is a good NFL quarterback commands the huddle, commands the line of scrimmage, can make the throws. He's really good. But he has a game or two a year, a play or two a game that is just so bad. It's so incredibly bad that you're like, this guy, I don't know. I don't know about this guy. I just don't even know. My point in saying all that is Jared Goff, you can have all the confidence in the world. He's really, really good. You saw it last game, though, against the Rams. He plays outstanding, but he has that one play where he does like a two-handed, right? Like, this is a great quarterback, just dotting him, just dotting him all over the place. Next thing you know, he's getting sacked, and he just throws it behind him with two hands. That's the stuff where you're like, dude. Now, that is the only thing that makes me nervous in this game is the Buccaneers like to blitz. They like to bring pressure. If I was playing Jared Goff, I'd blitz every play and think we need him to make a mistake because he – thinks he's more mobile than he is and he knows he's not mobile at all but still thinks I, I can move a little it's like you can't you can't so he has to protect the ball he has to just go down on sacks and remember when you see a sack in this upcoming game think it's okay it's okay it, that's it's because Goff will try to do something and we see whenever he tries to do anything when there's pressure tries to run he fumbles two hand throws it backwards he throws interceptions so a sack in this game is not the worst thing sack our ball let's try again here on second down and third down so keep that in mind as you're watching this game but i just i trust jared goff way more than baker mayfield in a game that the home field is proven it's not it's not uh i wonder what the home field will be like we know what the home field will be like we know that it's going to be very difficult for the Buccaneers, and we saw it against the Rams. They only made a couple mistakes, had a couple false starts, um, or a couple timeouts because they, you know, play clock was running down. Stafford like fell over himself. That was it. So shout out to them. So my point is, if the Buccaneers make mistakes, a couple false starts, a couple holdings, Baker, the the ball snapped when Baker's not looking for. It. I mean, the crowd will go nuts. The Rams didn't even give the the Lions much reason to go crazy, and they were going. And the crowd was going crazy. So that's what I'm really looking forward in this game. So great news: Lions are healthy. That's half the battle this time of year. Can't wait to see what happens in this game. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see all of you on the next one.